All right, now, look, this comes to the end of the whole interview, but there's one question, this elephant in the room I got to ask. Has anyone ever asked? I'm sure. When you were going to get married to Julia Roberts, mm-hmm. I know this is old fucking hat. You, this is 30 years old. 30 plus. 30 years old. So who gives a shit at this point? Right? Mm-hmm. It's been that long. I mean, you were kids. Then, supposedly, you had a thing with Julia Roberts. You took off to somewhere. Where'd you go? Well, I mean, that was all, that was all the, the, the press. I mean, the fact was, from my state. Ireland. Yeah, I went to Ireland. Ireland. Uh, uh, yeah. I was just going to say, have you guys ever talked about it? Was it yeah. always the other? Yeah. You yeah. have. Yeah, oh we talked. Gosh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, because, the, go ahead. Go ahead, Jason. No, we talked about, we hadn't seen each other. Um, we hadn't seen each other for <laughs> all, over 20 years. And then we contacted I don't know if it was other. that long, but yeah. Sure it was, man. Yeah. yeah, we probably, I think we hooked up again in 2009 or 2010. And I hadn't seen, and I, yeah, over Maybe 20 before years. Before that. Uh-uh. Well. So a long anyways, time. But yes, we had talked about it. Yeah. Look, the thing is, is that she's not here, so right in this room. So I'd feel strange talking about what she told me or what she told Kiefer because she could speak for herself. Right. But the large stuff about the press and being invited to the wedding and then taking off with the bride and all that. That's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. You know, I mean, I, I don't, Kiefer's specific relationship and what they were at the time, that's theirs. I mean, he can speak. But ultimately, it. there was a thing in uh, Rolling Stone. And Kiefer said something, and then you called Kiefer. Right. Well, I was making a joke about the country song. And someone had asked me a question about Jason. I said, well, I mean, you know, I lost my pickup and my dog and my best friend, and I miss my best friend, you know. <laughs> and so, look, the press can make whatever it does, and, and that was a difficult time for me, and, and I think it was an uncomfortable time for both of them. Um, but look, honestly, the truth where I'm coming from, you fall in love, you fall in love. There's nothing you can do about that. And and she's an extraordinary person and he is too. And, and you know, timing is what it is. And, you know, everybody moves on from that. Well, the maturity though, because I mean, most people could never, you know, get over something like that or they would hold grudges or whatever. But you guys had a bond, I guess. I don't know. know. I mean... George Harrison and Eric Clapton, Eric Clapton were best friends till the bitter end, you know. But it wasn't, it, it you know, it, it wasn't to, and it know, wasn't that, no. by the way. Right, so right, right. I think you're, if they could deal with what they dealt with, we could. I certainly think. Look, deal when we it. when I saw him again, whenever that was, twelve years ago, or whatever, it sort of, it was a few words of this and that. It was more of a laugh and a toast. Mm-hmm. It? And I've said in the press before, they've both been subsequently married since. A couple times i think they're both very happy in their lives mm-hmm. and what lasted after all that is me and Kiefer is yeah. you know 35 year buddies 